top ship command. ETA on planet is 40 seconds. I'm going to be a sitting duck down there, so you damn well better be at the dust off site when I get there. You get the stuff. Ah! Watch your top ship command. I got the recon data and one piss off Atlas on my tail. Get that data back to the ship now. Hello and welcome to a let's play of MechWarrior 2 Mercenaries. This is part of a MechWarrior 2 game series. I think there's MechWarrior 2, MechWarrior Ghost Bears Legacy, and then MechWarrior 2 Mercenaries. It is uh, a full game on its own, separate ones, but it's sort of it's sort of marketing itself on the name. It, it, MechWarrior 2 was one of a great game when it came out. Very good. Basically, in here, you're a pilot of a gigantic war machine that resembles vaguely humanoid. And that's about it. More importantly, we have two choices for our let's play. Uh, either we join an existing mercenary group or we become a commander of our own. The difference is the economy. And if you just want to play these missions, you're better off as a mercenary. You don't have to worry about anything. But it's uh, one of the better things about this game as compared to other MechWarrior 2 games, the economy. So we'll definitely go with the Mercenary Commander. New career selected. May 10th, 3044. Watch your speed. Tom Mac, he does not pull at 5.7. Roger. 20 meters to target. At all clear head of what? Setting down. Welcome home. All new arrivals, please register at a Comstar terminal. Terminal. Enter call sign. That line. Um, I'll go with the Rough Riders. It's it's a company name that you join if you choose to be just a mercenary. And I don't want to waste too much time think, uh, thinking, coming up with a name. If you're reading this, by now you know that I'm dead. The good news is you can keep your mech and any money we have in the bank. You're going to have to run this show for yourself now. The computer in my office will show you what contracts are available and what pilots are up for hire. That's how I found you not so very long ago. Let other people worry about patriotism. You just keep your mind on the money and don't get yourself killed on some stinking rock. No load of sea bills is going to bring you back from the grave. Or me, for that matter. Oh well, I never could say no to a mission. Good luck. Your former commander, Colonel Holly Harris. Yeah, Sender H. Harris, automated last will and testament. So we inherited the company from her. We can't board a dropship yet, that's basically going off to a mission. It usually happens on another world. Uh, I guess the backstory or the lore isn't too important to get into this game. If there's something important is it's 
maybe that the yeah there are a group of great houses basically having a war with within planets using these mercenaries and robot warriors to fight their wars and in many ways it, it's not the height of civilization so we've been at a higher technological level and now we're sort of come down because of the constant warfare that has gone so long so some technology and things that have we've known in the past we have forgotten or a lot of the production capabilities that we used to be don't longer exist so even though we can make mechs like these huge war machines actually maintaining them making new ones getting a replacement parts for them there is very valuable and that's the I guess the basic background that's somewhat relevant <laughs> go to the make bay first see what we have we have a com 7x commando 25 ton mech very fast no jump jets no heat sinks crappy armor Two tons of short range missile 6 ammo, one short range missile 6 launcher, and three medium lasers. Uh, it's priced at 3,300,000. We have 1 million in the bank account, and price for a normal mech that could be is something in the rounds of 3.6 million, 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, 3.4. 9.3 yeah so from 3.5 to basically 9 million we can't afford anything we'd have to sell our sell our existing one and this is a different variation but yeah basically we are using the ones the shittiest mix you could possibly use and we even if we trade it in we still wouldn't be able to gain much because we would have to probably refit them by weapons things like that and it all costs money refitting costs money so I think we're better off just with the standard fit to standard armor we could do one thing though uh, we have no heat sinks that's a that's a pretty problem I'll buy all of them and a couple jump jets yeah ammunition needs to be bought it it doesn't it basically has to be placed in a, in your mech and it's how many shots you have during the mission not projectile weapons they use ammunition the advantage is they don't create a lot of heat uh, energy weapons, no ammunition, but they create a lot of heat and your mech creates too much heat, it will go into an automatic shutdown to safeguard the reactor. If you override that, there's a chance your ammunition will start exploding or the reactor will explode and you will get destroyed. So if you're going to go with energy weapons, you you better be coming up with some heat sinks, otherwise you're going to be screwed you might not be able to fire too much and here's the customization system these are locations what they have, life support, sensors, cockpit yeah. ammo, short range missile launcher, gyros, engine, engine so some places have more free space than others arms are probably the best to put things but they're also the first to be shot off if enemy fires at you so it's risky. I prefer the torso in many cases. What I want now is to just put a few heat sinks there. So our mass is 24.5, so we can't actually afford the heat sinks either. Um, we can get rid of the short range missiles and the ammo and put heat sinks. Uh, I'm not going to do that because every time I move something or put in something it'll cost money and it's not cheap something like I think it's 50,000 per each unit 
So since we only have a million, I'm not going to do that. We'll go with the, what we have. It's uh, our first contract should be fairly easy anyway, so we can manage. We can also allocate more armor, but I don't think that's wise either. Usually mass is increased by one ton for each thing you do, so since it's 24.5 already, it's very hard for me to increase, put in any equipment anymore anyway. So it is what it is. We don't need to repair and reload, no, everything's fine, armor fine, internals fine, everything's fine. Open grouping. You can do this inside the mission too, but uh, now you can sort of pre-group things. I don't want uh, short range missiles to be mixed with our leaders. Now uh, to the office, we'll look at our... Personnel. personnel. We have Air Tech Warriors, nothing. Air Tech Pilots, nothing. Mech Warriors are the Mech Pilots. Air Tech Pilots are basically air support for the mission. Mech Warriors are the important one. We have one for Ire. It's very cheap, but we don't have a mech for him anyway. And he isn't all that great. Call sign task. Christian Fulton. Psychological profile. Christian scores extremely low on all IQ tests. However, his combat skills are excellent, making up his ac academic weaknesses with excellent eye-hand coordination and physical health. Christian uh, career history. Christian's combat experience is limited to a single battle for House Liao. In that battle, Christian hunted down and destroyed an impressive eight enemy mix when he was cut off from his assignment with a pursuit plant. And one of the houses, I think there's Liao, Draconis, Steiner, and Dave. Mm, I don't recall most of them. We'll probably be mostly dealing with Draconis. Inventory, inventory, everything we have. Easy to. Easy to check list, finances. finances. Monthly calls very low. Travel, broker, technicians, travel mech maintenance, guild dues. They are very, very cheap. Our main expenses will be the new mechs, new equipment for them, things like that. This is just pocket change to upkeep. Connecting to Comstar contract database. Yeah. Draconis Combine. You have three available. Uh, one thing of note duration. If it's uh, something like this duty defend one month. This is a uh, bounty, minimum payout bounty, maximum payout 300 C bills, bounty, bonus. Salvage right poor. Salvage right is one of the most important considerations in a contract because if we get it for if we destroy enemy mechs and get them in good condition, we might be able to keep just salvage an entire mech for ourselves. But if the salvage rights are poor, we basically get nothing. So poor, excellent, poor. Other thing to consider duration. Here is this just a one month. It's a very likely uh, random mission. Uh, not worth doing if you can avoid it. Here, August 1st to December 15th. 1.5 million bounties and excellent salvage tries. We definitely want to do that. Dragonis Combined Counter Insurgency Campaign. So, scripted missions. Uh, very likely you want to do these. Begin and end that this this will end before the next one starts, so we'll do this first. Mercenary training campaign Hansen's Rough Riders. The mercenary unit Hansen's Rough Riders is searching for a few inexperienced mech warriors that already own their own mechs to supplement Hansen Rough Riders in a Traconis contract. 
on the job eSport Traconis Combine, the ideal candidate will be reporting to Rough Rider Command. You will be watched over and guarded by an experienced mech warrior, though throughout the two month campaign, job pays 300,000 on completion. The Combine will pay for all reasonable ammunition expenses, so there's nothing to be lost here, it's just more money for us no matter what happens. So there's no real reason not to take it. We'll accept it. And that's our first job. Now when we go here and take the of the starport and take the dropship, we'll be automatically sent to that campaign that we selected. So it's time to get started with the actual game.